Yo guys, welcome to RenderRam, my name is Vieco and today I'm gonna show you how I do rattan objects. And for this example, I'm not gonna be modeling furniture, I'm actually gonna model a tulip flower to emphasize the point that anything can be done with this method. So I started the whole thing by dropping in my reference image of rattan and then I just started creating these cylinders where I'm gonna be creating the pattern that I'm gonna be tiling and cloning in the future to get this large rattan surface. I had to delete the bottom parts of these cylinders because the rattans don't have that bottom part. I don't know if this is the thing with all rattans, but this one has it like that. So at this point, I was testing the whole thing, if it's tileable, if I can just weld it easily. So I had to adjust a few wedges. And now I'm testing the whole thing with Turbo Smooth so that I don't have anything in intersecting once I add the turbo smooth in the end. So at this point I was cloning the whole thing hoping that I was finished but I encountered an error here. So once I duplicated everything so this whole thing will have to be curved on some very steep surfaces. So I kind of figure out that I'm lacking polygons here so I decided to revert back to the previous state where I was editing my solo pattern and I needed to add a few edges to kind of add more polygonal info so that this whole thing can work. And at this point I tested the whole thing and I welded all the edges and my rattan was complete. Next we're gonna model our plant. So the first thing I'm gonna start modeling the leaf. So as you can see the whole leaf idea is to keep it very very simple. And I'm gonna be doing some bend deformations on that leaf. I'm not gonna be, I'm just gonna avoid, you know, the manual work here as much as possible. So just to keep everything really smooth, really nice. And as you can see, I'm really not adding a lot of polygons here, just enough for this whole thing so that it can be bent nicely and so that it can perform nicely uh, in the final. So as you can see, I'm adding a bend modifier and this will just be bend on top of bend on top of bend where I'm just gonna be adding all these different details, rotations, etc., kind of to keep, you know, the whole, de the whole leaf uh, shape interesting and natural as much as possible. So the next thing, I'm just gonna be cloning these leaves. So I'm gonna be cloning that same leaf. And the reason behind cloning is, if you clone something and you need to change something somewhere, you can just, you know, like put an edit poly on top of that, make the modification that you need and just copy paste it on other leaves and it will apply there and you won't have any problems with that. Now, the same procedure as modeling the leaf I used with modeling the petal. So also again, I kept it very low poly and I will also use bend on top of bend, etc., to kind of get, you know, the whole petal look. The only thing where I'm gonna go manual here is this part where I'm kind of curving the bottom part, you know, down so that I can just clone the whole petal around and it will look like this nice flower. And this is generally the start of creating our whole rattan experience with this whole flower. And once we're done with that, we can then safely import our rattan pattern and start creating some rattan tulips. Now for our main rattan look, I'm going to be using two modifiers, Morpher and Skin Wrap, with the help of this little cool script called UV to Mesh. UV to Mesh will take an UV island from your unwrap, like this leaf that you see in my unwrap now, and it will project it as mesh in your viewport along with Morpher modifier on. And Morph and with Morpher, you can change the shape of that flat UV island mesh to your final original form. And this is where skin wrap comes into play. First, I've had to cut out my rattan to match the shape of my flat UV island. So you can see the red selection now. This is the projection of the flat UV island mesh leaf. After that, I've added a skin wrap modifier to rattan pattern. I've also aligned my rattan pattern to the position of my UV island. And in skin wrap, I added my UV island mesh as its source and now your rattan will follow that UV island which is controllable with Morpher. I then had to add some shell to, to add thickness to the whole leaf. After shell, I had to add some inset to the leaf and then delete the inner part because the whole leaf, when I turbo smooth it, it's gonna kind of twist in and this is important because of the rattan because every time when you see rattan everywhere 
like on any furniture, you will never see raw corner of the rattan. It will always be tucked in somewhere because its raw corner is very sharp because of all the weaves. And if you make this kind of U profile that you will turbo smooth, you will kind of hide that weave behind it and it won't be visible. Now you will see how I generally apply this technique to all the other leaves and everything. You can see how I'm positioning the whole rattan to my flat UV mesh object here. And when you just kick in the morpher, it will just nicely fit. It will kind of curve the whole thing. And that's generally how I did the rest of this whole plan. And that's it for today, guys. So this was an experimental tutorial. I never personally saw a time-lapse tutorial with somebody speaking in the middle of the time-lapse. So I can't really tell if this was maybe too overwhelming, if it was confusing, or did you find this very informative? So let me know what you think about this type of contact in the comments and see you in the next video. Bye.